around the ear we go. What do we got here? Winner, winner, chicken dinner, a whole lot of earwax. This patient came to us reporting that their ears were full and that they couldn't hear. They said that that right ear was worse, so we're gonna start on the left ear. As we got down there, all we saw was an absolute wall of earwax. The curette is going right through this earwax like a hot knife through butter. The wax is the consistency of warm peanut butter or possibly honey. Hopefully, we'll be able to get it all out in one big chunk. Nope, we weren't that lucky. Oh, look at that. At the top right corner, you can see a little hole, a gap between the wax and the ear canal wall. Hopefully, I can get the curette in there and we can get it all to come out in one big chunk. I'm not going to hold my breath, though. And I was right. The wax is just too soft. We're going to have to continue doing some digging. Luckily, at this point, the patient's already told us that the pressure in their ear has subsided and that they started to hear better. So hopefully, by the time we get all this wax out, we'll have a nice view of the eardrum and they'll be able to hear much better. Let's see what happens. And there it is, perfect. Left ear canal, left eardrum. Now let's move on to the right. Well, that's even worse than the other side, just like the patient said. Okay. So now we're gonna use the curette and hopefully get back there and remove the wax and get it all out in one big chunk. Clearly this is not going to work. Okay, when we get this out, with that wax being a little darker color, it's a little bit more tacky. Hopefully it'll stay together. Hey, that's a pretty big chunk. Let's see what's left. Well, nope, it's not all out. There's still a bunch in there. Okay. Back to the digging, we may even need to use some irrigation here. Now there's three ways that we can do earwax removal. The first is curette, like you're watching here. In our office, we use a video otoscope system so we can see what we're doing. The second is water irrigation. This is where we use a spray bottle or a syringe to put a whole bunch of water in the patient's ear, making them feel like they're gonna drown, kind of, and then it gets the wax out. Third is through suction. Now we don't do much with suction in our office, so any videos that we post are all gonna be of curettes or the aftermath of irrigation. In this case, I think we're gonna to have to use the irrigation. This is what we actually use. It's a spray bottle, and this is what came out afterwards. Even after the irrigation, you can see there's a big chunk back there. We're gonna use the curette and finish it off. There's the right eardrum, looks great patient doesn't have any fullness in the ears and they feel like they're hearing a whole lot better. But how much wax was that really? Well here it is next to a penny. It looks like a small mountain. Definitely enough earwax to cause hearing problems.